Okay, this time we're going to use the computer keyboard to control some software on the computer. The software I've got is uh, called Ableton Live, um, but you can download any um, DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, you can get your hands on. There's some free ones out there. Um, and I've got some samples. Again, you can get free samples off the internet. I've got these from uh, VerySickBeats.com. Um, it's a website by a guy called Jay Filt. He's got a really good YouTube channel. I'll uh, link to it in the description and uh, and the good thing about Ableton is it's got a part called the drum rack and you can just drag your samples onto there so I've hooked that up with the keyboard um, and again I'm not going to walk you through all these details you could probably find some other tutorial that helps you set up to play some drum sounds in a DAW um, all you need to do is set up so you can uh, play the, some sounds off your keyboard I've got the kick on A Snare on S, uh, open, uh, close hi hat on F, open hi hat on G, and that's as complicated as we're going to get for this lesson. Now, one bit of advice I will give you is uh, there's a part in your uh, audio preferences called the buffer size, um, and you want to set that as low as possible because you want the latency as low as possible. Um, anything less than say 10 milliseconds is is um, is not too bad. Anything more than 10 milliseconds of latency, which is the time between pressing the button and hearing the sound, it's going to start making you feel a little bit weird. Just like my phone makes me feel really weird when I'm playing on it. Um, so, if as long as we've got some low latency, this should be much more fun on, on the computer keyboard. Uh, the computer keyboard doesn't have any velocity. That means it doesn't matter how hard we hit it, it's always going to be the same level sound. So, that's where the next lessons we're going to start using a. a piano type MIDI controller and then some pad controllers where the the velocity actually changes depending on how hard you can hit it so um, but for this lesson just keep it real simple most people have a keyboard and a computer so most people should be able to do this on with and you can practice you know for months if you need to before you worry about um, investing in a proper pad controller um, because there's a lot to get good at by just practicing the timing okay um, so for this lesson, we're just going to do that basic beat we learnt before first to warm up. Okay, so that's a 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and on the hi-hat and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and the kick and the snare. So let's try and do those together. If you have a bit of trouble, just try, say, just the kick first or just the snare first with the hi-hat and slowly work your way into it. Okay, you can try them all individually for ages until you get used to it. It might take you a bit to work on the coordination. So. We're going to count it out. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And so you can see I stopped counting after a while. That's the way I like to do it. I count it first when I'm learning something, and then I just stop counting and just feel it after that. Um, so let's add the kick on the three end this time, just like we did before. So it's going to be. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And so now we can start adding the open hi hat in. This adds a really cool sound to it. You can put that on any beat. Let's just put it on one. So, and again, if you have trouble coordinating it, just take your time and slowly work up to it. Um, there's no rush with this stuff. So. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so you can play around with that. You can put the open hi hat on whatever beat you want. You can combine doing the open hi hat with some kicks and snares on different beats. Um, basically, that's a fun thing about finger drumming. You can try every possibility and it'll slowly make you better. So that's going to be it for this one, um, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll start to use a keyboard, um, a, like a piano keyboard style MIDI controller, and that could be really fun.